cold hearted people. You got a cold heart. You cold hearted. Your heart, your, my heart, my heart solid. Look, so we all know these people, you know, or we all know the saying of, you know, cold hearted. You know what I'm saying? And then you got representations of people being that cold hearted type of way of being. All right, now let's talk about the root of what it really means, okay? Because we can't be letting our let we can't let certain sayings just fly over our head and just believe what's already been kind of said without giving our without not without not actually going through it with our own experience, our own you know mind on it. You know what I'm saying? Don't just don't just don't just sit there and agree with some if you ain't you don't really know the essence of it. You know what I'm saying? And and I feel you know what I'm saying. I feel like and at that point you might as well not even uh make up your mind or you might as well not even have a have a point to have a point to even say you know so you might as well just say never mind at that point but listen so we got cold and then the heart now we know cold right what happens when something gets cold we can see it now if you put something in the refrigerator for a long period of time it eventually i mean well not the refrigerator <laughs> not the weak ass refrigerator the damn freezer. If you put it in a freezer, what happens? Over time, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna freeze up and get cold. You know what I'm saying? Now, coldness has to deal with something that's went away, something that's gone far distant, something that has lots of space in between, so distant, something that is frozen in ice, you know what I'm saying? Super ice, uh, unbudgeable, you know? The, 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 what was once transparent, what was once able to connect is now frozen into a, uh, into a um, cube or whatever, a solid. So that's cold. That's how it roots and then that's how I look, you know? It takes you to take time over something and maybe get very, very distant from it, as in basically maybe either stop stop even going to how you felt in that time or not even paying attention to it or, or not even feeling like you can connect to anything in the first place. So you basically it's all having to deal with you just going away from it, you know what I'm saying? So. Hey, don't mind my motherfucking lazy eye. That's my mother. That's my look. That's my shine gun. Ching. All right. So, now the heart is something that we all can resonate with. If you you know, you don't get too much into the worldly society basis things, or too much into whatever people be talking about. You know, everybody knows that heart has to deal with comfort. You know, and comfort comes from what's close to you. Comfort comes for, from what you care about, you know? Comfort, care, heart, center, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nurtured, taking time to get comfortable, you know, all that type of stuff. So that's the heart space, and that's just the heart. So if somebody's cold-hearted, right? That means they distant from the heart. They distant from their heart. And that means if they distant from their heart, that means they distant from your heart and they can never connect to you. Just like if somebody didn't love themselves, then they couldn't love you type of thing, right? So, it's what it is. That's it. It's just the cold hearted person, a person that stopped even trying to connect, stopped trying to resort in, uh, go very deeply inside to the root cause of something. You know what I'm saying? Because that person just made up a reason why they shouldn't even go close to that feeling or that place anymore, which is inside of them, which is a memory, a but a memory type of thing, you know, or whatever experience they went through. So don't be cinder block hearted, all right? We already got block heads, we already got block brains, and we already got block minds. Please don't make your heart a block. Don't make your heart heavy. You know what I'm saying? Just 
all right, I know the world is kind of messed up how it's built though, okay? We can't, we can't blame everything on ourselves, you know? Certain things that was taught to us ain't really right and stuff like that. And we ain't trying to be vulnerable in certain ways, but we kind of been made, our, made things up that ain't even true though, you know? We ain't gotta be vulnerable, we just making shit up in our own head. And if you feel like somebody gonna be like that, you need to check yourself and you need to check how that person that you feel like is gonna be like that is. Just be like, listen, is your motherfucking ass actually real or you not? You know what I'm saying? It just take you to say it, but. There it is. Cold party. Don't freeze it up. Don't freeze it up in the fridge. Don't take a don't take a break and never come back. You know, don't take too much time away. You know what I'm saying? Or take too much time away from the actual thing itself. You know, sometimes we make up things like on like real easily. So there we go.